Hi, I'm Carol Conley, the director of the Christian Civic League. We're working to compile and share voter information on issues you care about concerning the November 3rd election. You can and will be able to go to our website to see information on both local state representative and state Senate races, as well as the congressional, U.S. Senate, and presidential races. In this election cycle, we're trying a new feature in speaking directly to candidates for the main state Senate. We've invited all 71 candidates to join us one-on-one -on -one to answer four questions, the same questions for each candidate. Each candidate will be given up to four minutes per question. At the three and a half minute mark, I'll gently warn them by raising my hand to let them know that time's running down. The Christian Civic League will post these videos on Facebook, Twitter, and our YouTube page. We will point to them often between now and the election day. Thanks in advance to the candidates who have accepted our offer and are participating. Please be praying for these candidates and their families for this election and of course, vote. So I want to welcome to this interview, Paul Davis, who is a candidate for Maine Senate seat number four, which covers Piscataquis County, all of it, parts of Somerset and Penobscot. Paul, welcome and thanks for participating today. Well, thank you for having me. I'm pleased to be here. All right, well, let's get right into question one. Question one, who is Paul Davis? Tell us why you're seeking to serve I again in the main Senate. And then tell us, Paul, how your faith and yes, values I will want guide to run you. For re I am running for re-election. I'd like to serve one more term. Uh, I like helping people. And the best part of being the state Senate is, is that you can uh, help folks when they have problems with the democracy. And uh, I thoroughly enjoy doing that. I've done it for years. I've never asked people their politics when they come to me for help. I don't care if they're Democrat, Republican, or what they ask. If they need my help, they'll it. And Paul, how do your faith in your values, how do they guide you in your public service? <clears throat> I'm a born a Christian. I believe in uh, Jesus came to the earth to save us. I uh, I pray every morning. I read scripture every morning, and I uh, follow Jesus best I can. Paul, what can the people That's in District yeah. Number Four expect of you concerning the life issue? I'm pro-life. Period. I believe that the stats at conception. And could you give some examples of legislature that you've opposed or uh, legislation that you have supported? I have supported every piece of legislation I could that had to do with putting restrictions on abortion. Um, I really, we get very close uh, parental no notification, uh, telling uh, parents that uh, if their daughter doesn't have an abortion, I've always found it interesting that uh, they can't go to dance without the parents' permission, but they can go and have an abortion without their parents knowing it. I've always thought that was wrong. Uh, I'm pro-life. That's the way it is. I, I believe that life stats. Paul, our third question has to deal with the legislation known as the Fairness Act and other legislation that may impact religious freedom of faith-based institutions and individuals who don't embrace the redefinition of marriage and gender. How will you approach that type of legislation? <clears throat> I would oppose forcing people to do anything against their faith. Uh, I think of uh, a number of issues of uh, people across our country, as is baking cakes and uh, uh, marriage and all that type of thing. At the same time, we need to be very careful too. Some folks want to bring parents into schools. And uh, if you do that, then you have to consider Satanism and all that type of thing. And uh, I, I don't like that either. So that's where I am on it. I, I think that people ought to be able to practice their faith. That's what the country was founded on. And uh, uh, pilgrims came here for that reason. They're being persecuted. And I don't think that the folks ought to be forced to do things they don't want to do. Our final question. What differentiates you, Paul Davis, from your opponent? In other words, 
why should the folks in the sports Senate district vote for Paul Davis? Well, I don't know my opponent. I know who he is. He, uh, very liberal. He, and that's all I know of him. I'm conservative, I'm conservative physically, I'm conservative uh, on social issues. And that's, that's about it. Well, I, again, don't know my opponent very much. Well, I want to thank Paul Davis, uh, who is a candidate for the Maine State Senate seat number four, for his willingness to join us in this discussion today. Paul, we wish you the best of luck in this race. We thank you for being willing to serve Maine, and may God bless you and your family during this time.